Hi everyone, today I'm filming a tutorial on how to use list reports. If you aren't familiar with list reports, it's a website that creates marketing materials for you for free and we'll dive deeper into everything it has to offer. Okay, so first we're just going to type in listreports.com and you'll be brought to their home page. So we're gonna sign up now. Um, we're gonna do it as if you didn't have an account. And we're just gonna go ahead and say we're an agent. And then here you're gonna fill out all your information. So your first name, last name, company name, license, office address. So if you're in select, it'd be Falls Church, Tyson's, Tyson's Corner, etc. Then for the mobile number, put your direct phone number, not the office number. I don't want to put my mobile phone number on there, so I just decided to keep it with the office number. And then you're going to create your password. And on the side, you'll also see the list reports overview video. They have lots of videos throughout. So once you've submitted it, it'll show you a video about what L List Reports is. Um, you can kind of watch it on your own time, but as of right now, I'm going to skip that. Okay, so this is the most important part. You're gonna click, I'd rather do this later. You don't need a lender. If you wanna put a lender, you can put it, but you don't need a lender and it's completely free. So this will bring you to the home page. Okay, so you're going to hit marketing kits on the side and you're going to go to new marketing kit to start your new report. So this is just to update your profile. You can do that or you can just go ahead and start creating your list report. Okay, so you're going to put in the property address of the listing you'd like to create a flyer for. So I'm just pasting in an address from Fairfax Realty Select's uh, website. And we're just going to do the bare basics of not putting anything in. Um, basically, whatever it does automatically. You're going to hit submit, and then it's going to process. So it'll say congratulations. It'll also send you an email, and it, it notice how it in the button side, you can't click on anything and it says processing. So it's gonna send you an email once it's ready. Okay, so now we're gonna set up your profile. So I just hit profile on the side menu and we're gonna fill in some basic info. Um, some of it should already be uploaded, but I'm going to go ahead and upload my headshot now this photo needs to be professional because it will be on all your listing flyers and marketing materials. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Now that that's uploaded, you can put a website if you like and also be sure to include your license number in that slot. I'm not an agent, so I don't have one. Um, So for the company part, I'm just uploading the logo as well. And be sure to include your office phone number in the company information too. And then once you're done with everything, you're just going to go ahead and hit save. So now we are going to do another marketing kit. This time this agent has put in all the correct information. Everything is uploaded as you can see. Um, so this will automatically upload if you've put it into MLS correctly. It also found 61 images which will automatically upload into a gallery and you can pick uh, which photos you'd like to put on your listing flyer. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the different images I like. So, and I also think I want to do more images. So I'm going to click select more photos and we can add two more photos. So I think I'm going to go with 
the main entrance and then my last photo will probably be the back of the house yeah and then you're going to hit save and now you can see a little preview and if you click enlarge you can see a bigger preview of all your pictures and how they will look so then we're going to go down And there's also a video that will teach you how to fill out the information as well. I'm not going to show that to you, but there are resources located throughout the whole website. Okay, so now we are going to click on customize your flyers and view theme options. So these are the different color palettes they have. Obviously, some other real estate companies have used list reports too. Um, at, unfortunately, at this time, we are not able to get our color palette up, up there. However, um, blue seven navy is the closest one to our color. So I'm going to go ahead and click that blue seven navy and I'm going to make this my default color theme. So for um, the next flyers I make, it will automatically choose this theme and then I hit submit and then it's it's gonna say it can be expedited and you can go ahead and click expedite it's not gonna charge you anything and you're gonna hit OK so that is now processing okay so now our listing has been processed so we're gonna click view and this is what your marketing kit should look like So you have a bunch of different options here. You're going to hit download on the promotional flyer or whatever flyers you're interested in looking at. And this is an example of what will show up. So we have our pictures. We have our description. Um, it puts in all this information for you automatically. We didn't have to put in any of that. So it pulls it from MLS and it'll tell you, you know, what restaurants are nearby, the square footage of the house, um, basically all the information the buyers are going to want to see from your listing. Um, so let's look at a couple other things. We have postcards. Now these are jumbo postcards. So the cool thing about this is it actually downloads a bunch of different ones. So we have coming soon, just listed, just sold, under contract, um, promotional postcard. And this is an example of what it looks like. Unfortunately, some of this cannot be customized. Um, but it is really easy and fast and you don't have to wait on us to get back to you with postcard designs, etc. I think this is a really great tool all our agents should use. So hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial to list reports. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Again, they have videos on their website that go even more in depth about how to do things. You don't need a lender, but if you did decide to put a lender, you have more options to property websites, other features that um, is included when you provide a lender. So thanks for watching and I hope this was helpful.